Nay Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillah Hirabil Alameen Wa Sallallahu wa Sallam ala Nabiyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habita fillah I want to mention something very very important An important topic for us all to focus on And that topic is the importance of asking the people of knowledge and having trust in the people of knowledge. Because Allah Azza wa Jal fi Kitab al Kareem orders us to ask the people of knowledge if we don't know, if we need advice, if we need Islamic knowledge or insight or basira on a particular issue or matter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to go to Ahl al Fadl wa Ahl al Ilm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem fas'al ahli dhikrin kuntum la ta'lamun Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. And along with that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not make this, this, this affair something light. He would not subhanahu wa ta'ala ask us to ask of the people of knowledge and the people of understanding without a reason. Meaning that there must be trust. That when we ask the people of knowledge, it shouldn't be a case that we're shopping for fatwa. And it shouldn't be a case where we're just looking for the opinion that goes with our desires the most. And may Allah forgive us forever have falling into these affairs. But rather, we should be asking the people of knowledge in order to benefit ourselves. So that means we have to have trust in the people we're asking. And this is why Ibn Sirin said, In al ilma dina fandur amma taqaf dinukum. That verily knowledge, or the deen is knowledge. So look to those you take your knowledge from. Look to those you take your deen from. Because if the person is from Ahl Bid'ah, if the person is from Ahl Fasuq, the people of uh, desires, the people of Hawa, the people of sinfulness, then you want to avoid them, of course, because they can lead you astray. But if you have a student of knowledge, if you have a Da'i, if you have an alam, if you have someone from the ulama, someone who has more knowledge than you, and you ask them, then you should trust their views. And the reason what provoked me to make this video was the fact that I know particular individuals, may Allah guide us in them and forgive us in them, who ask students or ask du'at, people who, who call to Islam and call to the Sunnah. But then they don't listen to them. They advise them. Don't go here. Don't sit with these individuals. And they give them dalil. They give them evidence. But they don't trust those people in the those affairs. This Ahabatifillah more often than not causes great harm and fitna. Because those people who don't have the tools to be able to no sunnah from bid'ah, kufr from shirk. They don't listen to those people who have knowledge, who have something to offer them, and instead they make big life-changing decisions and moves that they often regret. And we've seen this countless times. A particular individual recently asked about going to a place where there's a lot of extremism. There's a lot of extremism. There's a lot of dalal, and there's also good, but they were advised not to. They rushed to go. What is the purpose of asking? What is the purpose of asking? Are you asking to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to safeguard yourself and your religion, or you're asking to fulfill your own needs and your own desires without as much concern for your religion? without putting trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and without putting trust 
and those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told you to put trust in. So my advice for myself and my brothers and sisters is that when we're advised, if it is good advice and it's coming from some a good source, then that we should trust that advice. If it's other than that, then of course we should avoid that. And that we should do our best to strive to be away from Ahl Bid'ah. And we should do our best to strive to not make divisions in the community. And we should be our do our best to strive and not be hasty in our affairs. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ikhlas with the bat and success. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.